Hello guys, how are you today? It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. So I am from uh, Morocco, Morocco, Africa. So how do you think I feel today? Excited? Stressed? No, I, I only feel cold, to be honest. Uh, I, came, I came like you with the, the, the snow and it was amazing for me to see the snow. We are not that used to, to it. So does everyone here know who is this guy? No? Nobody knows? It's normal that you don't know him because this guy has disappeared in Europe and developing countries. He has been progressively replaced by the modern trade and the big chains such as Carrefour, for example. We have two million Mohammeds in Francophone Africa. And this is one of the, of the Mohammeds with whom I grew up. I grew up with him because I used to go to school next to my place. So I, di I, I didn't need to take any car. I used to walk. And on, the, on my way back from school, Mohammed has this small, no-name, independent corner store. And I had a deal with my father. Whenever I used to have a good grade from school, I was allowed to stop by Mohammed and take a candy. And you know Mohammed back at that time, he didn't have any POS machine or computer or phone. He only had a pen on his ear, hair here, that he was taking and writing down whatever I was buying from him. And every other week when my father used to get paid, he used to go meet with Muhammad and pay the tab. And this is how I grew up. And then after high school, I went to Europe to here. I mean, not Helsinki, but I, <laughs> but I went to, to France, as you may hear with my Lucy French accent. And I realized that Mohammed again disappeared. So I just felt, okay, this guy is part of our community. He's part of my family. He's part of my tradition. He is part of my heritage. So if nothing is done, Muhammad will end up disappearing from Africa the same way he disappeared from Europe. So I just thought, what has been changing over the last decades that could save Muhammad today? And the answer is obviously the mobile phone and the internet. So before getting into the details, I will just show you a one-minute video that wasn't made by me, but that will explain to you what the company does, and then we will get into the details of Africa, my market, and how we believe we can save Mohammed and build an amazing unicorn out of Morocco. Okay. Hello. Hello. Bonjour. Salam alaikum. My name is Ismail. Ismail grew up in Rabat, Morocco, with his mother, his father, and his shopkeeper. Every single house in Morocco has a tiny grocery store in its streets. These stores are part of our daily life. They are family. Yes, Ismail grew up greeting the local shop owner every morning. He would celebrate good grades with candy from the shop and he would come to the shop whenever he wanted to chat. But ever since mega stores opened up, things have changed. Small shops have had trouble making money. They became in danger because the product they were selling were too expensive and took longer to arrive. Smile and his wife wanted to fix this, so they found it. 
Sherry is an app that lets small shop owners buy their inventory online. It is faster and cheaper for local owners than having to haggle with many different suppliers. And most importantly, the app gives them the same tools that big business owners have. We need more people like Smai to help the local shops in Africa thrive. So I hope now you understand better my story. So maybe I will give you just a few figures about my geography. So we are speaking here of Africa. Africa is a tough market, but not only Africa. We're speaking of Francophone Africa, which is even tougher. I remember I met one day with someone from the World Bank who told me not only you are in Africa, but in Francophone Africa, which is a mix of the toughest places you could be. However, there is an amazing opportunity. We are speaking of more than 500 million people who half of them are today unbanked. Despite a very high penetration rate of mobile phones. So there is clearly something to do. And the problem is very easy to understand. Mohammed is relying on cash. He doesn't have access to any financial product. He doesn't have access to insurance. He has issues with his procurement and he is fighting against competition coming from big chains, mainly from Europe, moving to Morocco. So how can we help him? With two main verticals. First vertical is helping him with his procurement, building what I call myself a digital purchasing body. Instead of having him buy his goods independently, why don't we make all the Mohammeds of Francophone Africa team up together, buy together, so they can have a better leverage on the suppliers and negotiate better margins, better payment terms, and be able to sell at prices as competitive as the chains coming from Europe. And for that, we'll see the details we teamed up with some suppliers. Two, financial services. Why can't we turn Mohammed into a local bank? What we call agency banking. This guy, his daily job is to sell fast-moving consumer goods. Why can't he use his store, his time, to start selling? financial services, such as allowing you to pay your bills at his shop, such as allowing you to get insurance at his shop, allowing you to top up your mobile, or even transfer money to your family. This is the ambition. And for that, we are very proud to say that Shari has become the first VC-backed startup in Morocco to receive a banking license from the local regulator. So when it comes to e-commerce, very easy. We provide him with an app, allowing him to browse through our products and order anything he wants. We make sure to deliver the goods in less than 24 hours. We do $80 million in annual GMV with 15,000 monthly active shopkeepers like Mohammed. We've signed with the biggest suppliers, including Procter & Gamble, L'Oreal, Navia, Bayersdorf, you name it. And today, we have a blended margin that is much higher than the market, around 8%. When it comes to the shop himself, we digitized him. We gave him a kind of bundle that we call a super app or a neobank for him to become fully financially included. It comes with a POS management tool. It comes with a terminal allowing him to accept digital payments. It comes with a Visa card. Visa is one of our partners today. And it comes with a bunch of value-added services that we will see. The POS is very simple to use they scan the products and can give invoice. We also provide them with a credit book app. 
on which we have another 15,000 uh, shopkeeper giving every single month more than 200, 250,000 loans thanks to our technology and we are very proud of it because these people, on top of being your grocery store, they are also your bankers. And the reason why they are the, your bankers is because they are the only ones able to credit score you. They are the only ones knowing who you are. They are the only ones knowing where you live. And they are the only ones able to do cash collecting. Remember, 50% of our population is unbanked. So the bankers are the people who have cash and who know you. And thanks to our technology, we became one of the biggest loan provider in the country. When it comes to acquiring, either the, the, the shop has an NFC enabled phone and we give him a soft POS, or he doesn't have and we give him a hard POS. If the shop wants to be online, we also provide a payment gateway. We are PCI DSS certified and 3D secure. We've built everything in-house and we are very proud of it. We also provide with a payment account that comes with an IBAN and we also built our own core banking system allowing us to provide the payment accounts. We signed exclusivity with Visa and we also provide Visa cards that are fully linked to the app. On top of all of that, we turn the shops into local banking agencies offering the services such as microcredit, microinsurance, and financial services. I only have one minute left and I would like you to see a video. So quickly, we went through Y Combinator. We are an Endeavor company. We have amazing investors in our cap table, including one that is here, Al Khwarizmi Venture from Saudi Arabia. And we are very proud to have him with us and cheering for us. Hello, Abdul Aziz. Amazing team. Uh, both founders are from BCG and McKinsey. And uh, the guys with expertise come from FMCG and, and Procter and & Gamble. So for the remaining one minute, I will show you one video in Arabic so you won't understand anything. But the reason why I'm showing it to you is because it has Moroccan music. So I wanted to finish with some Moroccan music. I will, uh, it's not this one. So this one is, these are our operations. Uh, we won't have time to see them. So I will just show you the music. Unfortunately, can we put the music louder? Uh, yes, please, guys. So this is typical Moroccan music. This is the advertisement we are using to acquire more users. So you have been sitting for 10 minutes. Let's stand up and dance a little bit on Moroccan music. All together, please. I have been here. All together. Yalla. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Louder the music, please. Like this. Like me. Like me. All together. Yalla. So this is Mohammed, who is doing the app for us. The app can be downloaded on the iPhone and the Android. And you can order anything you want and get delivered in less than 24 hours. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure to be here.